Today I'm going to be making crispy vegan tacos with a creamy avocado dip, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow a whole food plant-based way of eating. On this channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that anybody can make. So if that's something you're into, please subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for more plant-based content. The full recipe for today's video will be in the description box below, along with all the resources I offer. My digital course is still on sale, so check that out along with a couple of discount codes down there as well. So if you're like me and you're on a whole food plant-based way of eating and you love tacos but sometimes you want a crispy taco and those pre-made shells are always so full of oil and just a lot of things that I don't want in there and if you try to make them in the oven, I don't know, they just never really come out how I want. So I'm gonna try something new, something I've been seeing on the internet and I'm gonna give it a whirl, make it my own, and see how they come out. Then I'm going to pair the tacos with this really creamy avocado kind of a dip, a sauce. It's gonna be really delicious. So let's get started. All right, these are the ingredients that we're gonna start with. I've got about a cup of TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. It's just soy, it's high protein, and it's very much like meat, like ground meat here. So if you've been missing that, that texture, that flavor, uh, this is going to um, be a good substitute for you. I'm also gonna add in some lentils, and these lentils I just cooked with a little bit of salt, uh, put them in some water, brought them to a boil, let them cook for about 20 minutes, and then drain them. So um, I started with one cup of TVP, and it plumped up to a little bit more than that. Um, but you want to start with one cup dry and then you just cover it with some hot water or boiling water and let everything absorb into the TVP. And I'm not going to put any seasonings in that because I'm going to be putting some taco seasoning into our taco mix here. And I've also got one small onion, which is, um, I mean, it was really small. And then I've got a couple cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna meet you over at the stove and then I'm gonna show you how I assemble these tacos. So I have my nonstick skillet heating up here on medium heat. I'm gonna add in my onion. And the garlic. And we're just gonna let this cook on medium heat for a little bit till the onion gets translucent. All right, the onions are looking good. If you need to add a little bit of water, if, you're, if it starts to dry out or it starts sticking, that's not a problem. Go ahead and add some water. So then we're gonna add in our lentils and then our TVP. All right, we're still on medium heat and we're going to just cook this for a few minutes. And then we'll add in our taco seasoning. But you just want to get the lentils and the TVP all mixed together. Now some people will ask me, or just I've heard this in general, is why do you want to make things that resemble meat if you're a vegan? Well, a lot of us did not quit eating meat because we didn't like the taste. We quit eating meat because we didn't want to um, be part of the suffering of animals. So this is why we make these kind of dishes. Because this dish is cruelty free. No animals had to die for me to have some tacos. And I'd much rather do that. It's just, that's what veganism is is, you know, you want to do the best you can not to cause any harm to animals. And it also helps the planet and it also is way healthier for us. All right, we're gonna let this go for a few minutes and I'm gonna be putting in the Siete taco seasoning. It's one of my favorites. Uh, you could use whatever kind you want and I like to use this because it's easier and it's quick. So 
that's what I'm going to be putting in my taco meat here. Let's sprinkle in our taco seasoning. And I'm going to put in about a half a cup of water. And you can put more in if you want, but let's just get this all combined. And then it only needs to cook for three, four minutes. And TVP is just soy. That's all it is. The same thing that tofu is made out of, the th same thing that edamame, tempeh. So, so I'm going to turn the heat down, just let it simmer. I may add a little bit more water to this, but you just use your judgment. That's up to you. All right, so I've got my vegan taco meat here. And then I just warmed up some corn tortillas and put them in this little dish towel here. You, Cause you want them pliable. So we're gonna put our corn tortilla down and we're gonna add some of the meat here. And just kind of flatten it out on half of it. And then you're just gonna fold it over and gently place it onto the lined baking sheet. Now I've got my oven preheated to 400 and I'm going to make as many of these as I can that will fit and then I'm going to show you uh, the cool little technique that I'm going to use. So I'll be right back. Okay so I made 12. There's a little bit left over and like if you see like these two are cracking that's because I didn't heat these up good enough so make sure you do that now here's the technique you put another cookie sheet over them lightly okay so we're going to put this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees then we're going to take the top off flip the tacos go for another 10 minutes while these are baking i'm going to show you how to make that creamy avocado dip all right so you want to start with one avocado and then we're going to add a half a cup of vegan yogurt. This is just plain. And this is going to make it creamy. Then we've got some garlic and some spices, like cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, what else? Salt. And then we're going to do juice of half a lime. And then we're gonna do some cilantro. And if you don't like cilantro, then this is not the recipe for you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to help it blend, and then I'm gonna go blend this up. And then the tacos should be ready in about five minutes. Okay, so finished product. Now, let me tell you what's wrong and what's right. Hold on. Now, they cracked, but you know what? It doesn't matter because they're crispy and it's gonna be just fine. So let's give these a taste. I've got my beautiful creamy avocado dip here. These are hot too. Ooh, hot, mm. so good though. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So good. What's more important? Let me ask you a question. What's more important to you? The way a recipe tastes or the way it looks? Now for me, I mean, unless it's just absolutely disgusting looking, I don't really care. It's all about the taste. So let me know in the comments if it's more important the way it looks, put looks. If it's more important the way it tastes, put taste. So not every recipe is going to come out exactly how you want, and that's okay. Um, I wouldn't call this an epic fail by any stretch of the imagination because it's delicious. Um, I wish that they hadn't cracked, but so what? It's still going to be fine. So this recipe makes about 12 tacos. And I'll figure out the calories and the, and the protein and all that, and I'll leave that in the description box. So if you like this video, if you learned something, 
please give it a like and share it with your friends. And don't be afraid to try recipes. And if they don't come out perfect, it's okay. Just keep trying. And if they taste delicious, then it's a win. Remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. Today I'm gonna to be making some crispy vegan tacos and I'm gonna make a delicious, cr I'm gonna learn how to talk first. Today I'm gonna to be making, the full recipe for today's video will be in the description box below, along with all the resources that, the rest,